Last night at the Republican primary debate, Newt Gingrich made an interesting statement. He insinuated that Fidel Castro was going to go to hell. I give you the footage. The suggest is I don't think that Fidel is going to meet his maker. I think he's going to go the other place. Uh, second, I would suggest to you, I would suggest to you the policy of the United States should be aggressively to overthrow the regime. Those are some awfully insinuating words, Mr. Gingrich. Now, I could come out here and I could make the point like uh, the fact that you've committed adultery and adultery is sexual immorality and the Bible calls for the death of people who commit adultery. I believe it's stoning or something else. Now, I could make that kind of a point where it's the Bible does call for eternal damnation for people who commit adultery, like he did. But that would be too easy. I would rather go from this from a more political perspective. So we've got rapid inflation, unending wars, lack of jobs, a terrible economy. So just in case you forgot, Cuba's still evil and totally out to get you. Just, just that you forgot. However, it is also very interesting to note his aggressive policy towards Cuba, as if all the terrorist attacks on resorts, sugarcane fields, and all the other nastiness the U.S. has perpetrated on Cuba, including the Bay of Pigs, hasn't been enough. He's calling for aggressive action. Aggressive action has already happened. I can only guess that in this context, he's meaning a war against Cuba, as if the U.S. isn't stuck in enough wars already. But he may only just be saying that and not really meaning it because I don't think any president really wants to go to war against Cuba because basically the world's not going to stand for it. Because it's really hard to portray Cuba as a threat to anybody. So I think maybe the real reason why he said it was because the debate was in Florida. And we know what kind of anti-communist people live in Florida.